What is up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Tyler. You guys also know me as the Geode Cracker and Collector and today's video is going to be a shorter one but it's going to be a really fun one. We are going to be testing out a brand new handheld microscope um, that was sent to me by a pretty awesome company known as Andon Star. I'm not 100% sure if that's how you pronounce it but that's how it's spelled, so we're just going based off of how it should sound phonetically. But Andon Star is a company that manufactures microscopes for different things like welding and soldering and stuff like that. But they just recently made a handheld model, which the name model name will be on the screen for you guys. And they sent one to me, asked me if I would like to check it out and make a video and share it with all you guys. So that is exactly what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be putting this microscope to the test. I've got a handful of things that you guys already saw in the thumbnail that we're going to be checking out here in my shop. And we're going to see if this, uh, if this microscope is going to work for checking out rocks. We are going to be utilizing my phone camera, the GoPro, and footage from the microscope today. So this is going to be a pretty fun video. A lot of editing is going to go into this one. So I hope you guys enjoy. Let's check this thing out. All right, so this is the stuff that we're gonna be checking out today to test out this new handheld microscope. So I don't wanna delay any longer. We're gonna get right into checking this thing out. So I'm not 100% sure which color we're gonna get. The color of the box kinda of makes me think maybe we'll get the blue one, but this is the box that it's gonna come in. And uh, just so everybody is aware, these microscopes are available on Amazon.com. I will have a link down in the description to this specific uh, model of microscope as well as a link just to the Andon Star uh, store there on Amazon. So you guys can check out the other microscopes that they do make because like I said, there are some really, really cool ones that they make. So we're gonna get this thing checked out and opened up. All right, so first and foremost, we've got our user manual. So we're just going to kind of peek through this really quick. Probably going to give us basic parameters, things like that. It'll tell us, there we go. That's more what I was curious about. What exactly is going to come in here? So we've got the microscope. We've got a carrying pouch for it. Looks like we've got a charger cord as well as um, a little lanyard. So I definitely suggest putting that thing on there as soon as you open it up because that's just attaches to the device and wraps around your wrist. So you have no no chance or a decreased, highly decreased chance of dropping the device and doing damage to it if you've got it wrapped around your wrist. So looks like that's the same information. And we're gonna get right into unboxing this bad boy. All right, there we go. That is the device itself. What do we got here? Oh, so it does come with a 32 gigabyte micro SD card. So that is very convenient. Don't need to worry about grabbing one of those in addition. We've got this little bundle of things there we're gonna set off to the side and then we've got the device itself. We're gonna set down, make sure nothing else in the box. All right, we are finished with the box. We're gonna set that off to the side. And let's get this out of here. I think we've got, yeah, sweet. So we do have the black one, very nice, very smooth doesn't feel super plasticky. It's got a very nice texture to it. I enjoy that. That's very nice. Does have a mobile screen there. Ooh, hello. <laughs> so you are able to see what you're looking at along the way. Oh, here we go. This is, oh, I love doing this. So satisfying. Quiet truck. So beautiful. All right, and we're gonna hold the power button down. Ooh, a little, little song there for you. And, ooh, look at that, my fingerprint. All right, don't, don't go commit any crimes. <laughs> All right, we're gonna power this off really quick. And uh, let's see what's in this little bundle here. So. Like I said, we do have a pretty nice, ooh, pretty smooth uh, carrying case. 
for the device, which is very nice. Here we go, this is the little lanyard. So, there's a loop, you just stick that end right through there. And hope, yeah, there we go. So I'm gonna say, I hope you don't struggle like me. And then you just run this side through. And there we go. So like I said, now put that around your wrist, sitting there looking at, you know, something super awesome and it amazes you so much. You're like, ah! oh, okay, but it's safe. <laughs> All right, so like I mentioned earlier, we're gonna utilize the GoPro as well as this camera here. So give me a second. We're gonna kind of move things just a little bit. I'm gonna turn the GoPro on, get that mounted to my chest while I get the SD card put in and do the first interaction with the device. So you guys can see up close and personal how that's gonna go. So give me just a moment. All right, so we've got things set up with how we're gonna do this. Uh, we've got our overhead view hanging out right up there and we've got the GoPro view right down here for you guys. So we kind of get um, a couple different perspectives, give you guys a good idea of what this thing's gonna be like, how it is to interact with it and uh, overall what to expect from it. So first and foremost, I think it's important that we get the SD card put in. So this area right here, kind of opens up all right there we go and we can see right inside of here that's where we charge it and that's where the SD card is gonna go so let's go ahead and get this inserted oh, make sure you put it the right way all right and we are good to go to get this thing uh Powered on. All right, so starting off, we've got a couple bars worth of battery, which is good. Uh, 1080 or 1080p is about what it's gonna record in, so. Let's uh, go ahead and check this out. So uh, we're also gonna have some clips from the actual microscope itself um, kind of tossed in here as well. So we're really gonna get the full experience here. So pretty excited. Wow, starting off really beautiful, beautiful picture. The camera does very well so that also means that any little vibrations or anything are gonna kind of be, you're gonna feel them and you're gonna notice them. Um, that being said, the device itself um, on Amazon, you've got a couple options. So you can get just the device or you can spend a little bit more and you can get it with the stand. Um, I think I should have probably got it with the stand given I'm a little a little bit shaky. Um, yeah, this thing is really cool. So we are going to, uh, well, we already started off with this one. Um, actually first, no, we're gonna, we're gonna kind of explain real quick what we have over here and what we're gonna be checking out. So we've got a couple of different things. I asked on the discord what folks wanted to see. I got a couple of replies. So. Uh, one thing for sure was the blue barite. So we've got a geode here from Keokuk that has got some blue barite in there. It's got the most abundant barite or the of the crystal growth of the barite. So that one's going to be really cool to check out. Uh, we've got a little piece from Haunted Ridge. We've got a fossil plate. Um, this is a piece of a geode from Kentucky that's got some green malachite, which is super cool. The only malachite that's in my collection. So really, really excited to see that up close. Haven't seen that one up close before. Uh, we've got a couple of specimens of Illinois fluorite. This one over here is just a nice big fluorite crystal, some blue and purple. It's got really, really awesome and wicked patterning on the sides. So I'm curious to see those up close. Um, Maybe be able to see some of these inclusions that are floating around as well. Um, we've got a uh, geode from Indiana. This has got some really cool gothite as well as some hematite inside of there growing on top of the quartz. So that one's gonna be pretty cool to see up close. 
Uh, we've got a cabochon here that is made of dendritic Kentucky agate. So that one's going to be really cool to see a little closer. See all those little dendrite clusters. That little line of them that you can see are just growing inside the bands of that agate. So that's really, really awesome. We've got this piece here. This piece was uh, actually sent to me, not polished or cut or anything. It was just a chunk that was sent to me by uh, Ragnar Rocks with Captain Cortez. So be sure to check him out. I'm going to have links up there for you guys and down in the description for his channel. We're going to check that guy out. We've got a little half of an ammonite. We've got a little bug that's bugging me. This is a galaxy stone or an amygdaloidal basalt with uh, little agates and stuff like that. It's got some copper um, replacement agates inside of there. So I'm really curious to see those a little closer under some better quality. Um, same thing here. This is a copper agate or copper replacement agate from uh, Lake Superior. And this chunk right here is a crinoid fossil in some host rock. This is from Indiana. So very curious to see all these things. Oh, we've also got some things hanging out back here. This big one here. Um, this is the pyrolucite uh, crystal I found in a ridiculously awesome Keokuk geode, my favorite Keokuk geode. I have a link down in the description for the video of us uh, cutting that one. And then last but not least, we've got this pendant here uh, that is some native float copper from Michigan uh, made into a necklace. So curious to see the surface of the copper and how close we can really get with this microscope. So that is the quick rundown. Now we're just going to get right into uh, checking these things out. So we've got this one here is uh, Galena with some fluorite and there's some really crazy parts and crystals and things like that on the bottom side of this that I'm really curious to see what the heck it is because I'm, I'm not so sure. So we're going to get this bad boy turned on. Take two. There we go. <laughs> Make sure you push the button down long enough. So this does have the capability to record in video or you can press this M button over here and that will switch it over to photos and then um, you uh, just click away. Photos are going to be a little bit hard for me because uh, yeah, because my hands are a little shaky, but all right. Let's get back to the video. So right about now, we're going to switch over to uh, the recording from the microscope. And again, I do apologize. My hands are a little bit shaky. Like I said, you do have the option to uh, purchase this with a little stand, which um, I think I might uh, try and get my hands on just a little stand. Make things a little easier. So this piece is from my... Uh, my collection so there's gonna be it's gonna be a little bit of dust on it unfortunately but that is all right let's see what's in those uh, in those dust bunnies huh so I have not zoomed in on anything just yet this is just the regular basic uh, magnification that you can expect from the device Um, now, I know you guys are seeing this on the screen as well as hearing my voice, but this is just a voiceover. I do not think that it, uh, it records audio while you've got the video recording. Um, I wouldn't expect it to. I will, uh, I will investigate and let you guys know, and you guys will see the answer to that question right on the screen. But... Like I said, this is Illinois fluorite. So that's a really awesome fluorite cube we're looking at right now on the screen. And I'm, uh... oh, hold that thought. We're going to have to charge up a little bit, <laughs> but I guess that brings us to the next thing in the bag that we didn't look at. Charging cord. So I'm gonna get this plugged in and we'll be right back. 
All right, so we have gotten readjusted here. Uh, we kind of rearranged, reset some things basically, and uh, we are all charged up. I don't think we got to a full charge, but we're charged up and just enough. Um, and uh, we were able to save uh, that last clip. I mean, you saw it cut off um, a couple seconds before we actually fully lost power, but we're just gonna hop right back into it. And uh, we're gonna check some things out. Um, I don't think we'll get to everything here. We'll just uh, we'll get through a handful of things so we don't have this video be too terribly long. Um, but there'll be plenty of photos at the end. Uh, we'll have photos of everything, everything here under the microscope. So if you're uh, hanging out for the slideshow, it's coming soon. Don't worry. Um, yeah, I really want to check out. Uh, this is the chunk that's from Kentucky. That right in here has got some green uh, malachite. We're gonna check that out and uh, switch over to microscope cam. So we can see there is not, not a whole lot of it. And I think we're gonna put that there. Ooh, here we go. Really, really cool. Alright. I think it's time we uh Zoom this bad boy in. If anybody knows what the uh, that black mineral is inside of there, do share because I'm very curious. All right, so you can kind of see with my hands, I'm using the, uh, the table to brace the bottom and then kind of using my finger on the top side. Makes it a little less shaky. But yeah, if you've got um, any idea what this stuff is, please feel free to elaborate. Educate us if you can Because I'm not too sure on that stuff right there Really really pretty though Really really nice all right, let's uh How are you down in the meantime, let's turn this back on Let's check out this one right here. So this was, or this is a, uh, what I believe is a crinoid fossil in, uh, in the host rock. It's got some really interesting uh, crystal structures on the bottom side of, uh, yeah. So let's, uh, let's check her out. Let's see. Really interesting. Try steady my hand a bit, sorry. Cool. So the side I'm talking about is back here. Right there. Looks like there's some calcite. This is very, very squared. Very squared corners and 
where it broke in there. Definitely has that uh, a calcite shimmer to it. That's for sure. So, really cool. Shout outs to, uh, to Noah of uh, Mobile Outdoors for uh, requesting the fossils. Next up, I'm just kind of using the uh, big, big G over there to, uh, to kind of help. So, this is the, uh, the Keokuk geode that has got some blue barite inside of there. Which that's what we're looking at right now. Oh, wow. It looks frosty almost. Or fuzzy. And I'm very curious what those little specks are. So let's zoom in here. Let's see how close we can get. Very, very interesting. Could it be pyrite? There's like a whole little line of them over there. Hmm. Curious. Zoom this out a little bit. I will say um, I would prefer there's a uh, something I didn't point out on earlier. There's a roller dial on the uh, on the back side that controls the light, and I really think uh, a roller dial to control how much you zoom in would be pretty nifty. Something a little bit, or maybe just a little closer to uh, to your thumb, because I mean, especially if you're recording. It's uh, it's really kind of a pain, but I mean, aside from that, I don't really have uh, many issues with the device itself. Like I said, there's a couple things that could be a little bit more uh, comfortable on the hand while interacting with it, but it's it's doing its job. It's taking very good pictures and videos. Um, this next one that we are going to be checking out, this is a geode from Indiana. This is part of a geodized horn coral. It's got some quartz inside with gothite and hematite secondaries. Uh, really, really pretty geode. Um, one thing I will add though, um, it's kind of a downside of things with this device. I've kind of been editing the video along the way uh, just to make sure everything was going smooth. There was no issues with any of the clips saving or anything like that. I didn't want to go through and record everything and then there'd be an issue. Um, especially with the new device. Um, that being said, I've discovered that the device itself saves the video in AVI format, which um, isn't a problem unless you're an iPhone user like me who uses their iPhone uh, to do all their editing and things like that. iPhones are not compatible with the AVI format, and it took... Uh, far longer than I'm willing to admit uh, for me to realize that it was just a simple issue of the format not being right. So after I was able to kind of figure that out and found a way to convert them without spending any money, uh, I didn't have any issues. But it was definitely a pain in the butt. So keep that in mind if this is something you are considering purchasing. Um, it, can be, it can be a pain. Wow, this gothite is really, really beautiful. I love that there's just little clusters of it. Or, uh, I know it's probably not the right term, but I call them sprays, just little groupings of them. To the naked eye, they look like little balls, and then you, uh, you get to zoom in and see them, and they're actually little clusters of needles, which is really, really awesome. Um, One more thing I would like to add um, <clears throat> that I'm not super happy about with this device 
Uh, now it appears, and I'm not 100% sure um, if it's maybe because I'm having to convert the files, but upon reviewing the videos, once I got them onto my phone, um, whenever we looked at something and we went to zoom in, I'm sure you notice in the, uh, in the video itself, um, it doesn't actually zoom in in the recording. It will stay at whatever magnification it started off in. So there were times where I was zooming in, but I had to go and manually zoom those clips in. And I mean, it still kept the resolution and everything like that. It still looked good. Um, but that is kind of disappointing that um, the video doesn't actually record what you're seeing on the, uh, on the little screen. Because on the screen, while we're recording, it's zooming in along with it, but the actual file itself does not. So that's a little bit disappointing and a little frustrating. Um, but then again, I'm using this probably in a different way than most people are gonna use it in, so don't let that be the main deterrent from it. It does take fantastic photos and videos that you guys are gonna see plenty of the photos at the end. I know there's a whole bunch of stuff still sitting out that we didn't really uh, get a look at um, actively in the video, but I promise there will be some photos at the end for everybody. Uh, but the last thing that we're gonna take a quick peek at is uh, this cabochon here. Now I'm sure some of you are noticing that is a, a different cabochon than the beginning. Like I said, this has been recorded over a couple days and uh, my little guy Dallin kind of walked off with the other one. So this is the same uh, type of material. This is just a bigger cabochon um, that we're gonna look at. But this is Dendritic Kentucky Agate. That's really, really awesome. My favorite find, probably the craziest uh, Kentucky agate that I personally found so far, but we're gonna get this thing checked out. Let's see what we got We're gonna kind of move this way some so I get a better hold and uh, Let's start this recording Wow, so We can see some really really awesome stuff going on inside it here so we can see that's the agate and then we've got some dendrites that kind of start to pop up we're going to move over here and see them really well and they're just growing right inside of those bands which is just crazy all right so once again i'm kind of using the table and my fingers to kind of brace it so it's not super shaky. I apologize for all the shaky moments uh, that you guys are experiencing. I know they're not they're not pleasant. Um, now we have this other uh, mineral here that's growing inside, and you can see that one towards the bottom of the screen there. That yellow. It, does that look like a cube to anybody else? What in the world is that stuff growing inside? Those look like cubes to me, like right there center screen that looks like the corner of a cube so is that calcite growing inside of there if so that's pretty gnarly really really beautiful bands in this stuff we got some dendrites going on in the in the red agate as well not just in the banded stuff we have a really pretty uh crystal cavity up here as well check that out it's a little uh <laughs> a little dusty But there's uh, some quartz going on in there. Oh, looks like maybe, maybe a little bit of gothite, or that's just a little hair that's inside. You guys be the judge. <laughs> Stop that one and uh, start again on this side. So awesome. That one right there looks like an eye. It's got the pupil in it and everything. Look at that one. That's beautiful right there. Got the dendrites, there's a little cube of whatever that is inside of there. That's pretty. 
All right, we are gonna switch over to the camera. Try to get a nice picture of that. But that is gonna wrap up the uh, the hands-on <laughs> with the uh, the microscope. I've kind of given you my feedback along the way. All in all. Um, if you're not going to experience massive headaches or issues with uh, the file saving in the AVI format, um, then I think you're you're good to go. If you're someone who's strictly you know on your computer and you're just gonna you know download and upload to Facebook or just keep on your computer for yourself, but yeah, you won't experience uh, the same issues that I had. But other than that, once I got over that hurdle and I figured out how to convert, um, it was super. Super simple, super easy to work with. Once I got the clips to my phone, I was able to edit like nothing. Um, and aside from the issues with uh, losing that zooming in or zooming out um, while you're recording a video clip, I would, I would say this is definitely something I would recommend uh, to those getting into um, the hobby or those who are looking for you know a simple handheld microscope that's not super difficult. But yeah, I, I think it's uh, I think it's a good piece of equipment. I'm curious to see what some of their uh, their bigger microscopes are are like because um, those seem to be uh, definitely more intricate. Um, and this is a newer product, so I'm gonna give them the benefit of the doubt of that and uh, say I th I think it's a good microscope. Um, and I'd I'd recommend it. Um, if you've got a bigger budget, obviously there's going to be things out there that are going to be a little bit better if your price range is higher than $75, but if you're looking for something under $100, um, from what I've personally used and tested, this opposed to the previous microscope I have, um, i choose this one any day. <laughs> so once again, you guys will find the links down in the description below to not only this device itself, but to the Star uh, store itself on Amazon. Um, and I appreciate you guys hanging out. I know this was a little bit of a longer one. I know in the beginning we said it would be a short one, but I'm sorry, it's not. <laughs> um, but we still got a few minutes left of some really, really awesome slides to check out uh, because this thing takes some crazy photos and we've still got a handful of things to check out. So that being said, I hope you guys all enjoy these photos and I will see everybody next week.